Yo, YouTube, what's up? I haven't talked to you guys in a while. What have I been up to? I have been spending a lot of time underneath this barbell, not a lot of time on the bike. I feel like whenever I get interested in a certain niche of fitness, I tend to just go all in and want to dedicate all my time to it. Last summer, I was completely obsessed with biking. I spent so many hours on the saddle, hundreds of miles biking, up a bunch of mountains, I made a whole bunch of videos around biking. But then the winter hit, and I couldn't bike anymore, so I had to shift my focus. That's when I built this garage gym and I got really into powerlifting. So lately I've been just having a ton of fun trying to get as strong as I can at the squat, deadlift, and bench. And I've made a ton of progress since last October when I checked in last. Not only has the weights gone up, but I feel like my technique has improved significantly. Check this out. These squats are the testing week of a six week strength training program that I ran. There is 295 on the bar, which is my previous one rep max. And just look how much better these squats look compared to the one at the very beginning of this video. I get so much deeper and I'm able to maintain a lot more tightness throughout the entire rep. And I don't know why I showed you guys this clip first, but I actually ended up dumping that one. I really wanted to get three reps, but it just wasn't happening on this particular day. But all in all, I am super happy with how my squat has progressed over the past six months. Next up, this was on the same day I tested my bench press too. I've got 250 pounds on the bar, so even one rep is a PR. I still gotta really work on not pushing my butt up off the bench, but I'm pretty happy with that. Two reps, pretty clean, 250, that's another big PR. Okay, last up, tested my deadlift. I've got 345 pounds on the bar, and I'll let you just watch these beautiful reps. So those were supposed to test my estimated one rep max based on how many reps I got, but I really wanted to know my true one rep max. So in the coming weeks, I ended up doing heavy singles of squat, deadlift, and bench. Here are those. This is all the big plates that I own in my garage. Felt so good to do them all on one lift. And did you see how fast that went up? I know I have more in the tank. I'm gonna try 375 at some point in the next couple weeks. I'm like 95% sure I can hit it right now. Next up, we got the elusive 315 pound squat. That is three plates on each side. There's something that just feels so significant about the full 45 pound plate milestones. And check this one out. So deep and it just moved all the way back up. God, we gotta check out that bottom position again. Is that not the most aesthetic squat that you've seen me do? I'm so happy about that one. Last up, bench press, and we're rocking with 255 pounds. Check out this single. That thing was no problem. I think I got a little bit more in the tank on bench press too. And here is my updated total. With those new PRs, I'm at 935, which means I only have 65 more pounds to go before I hit 1,000 pounds. So when I do the math, I was able to add 60 pounds to my total over the past six months, 20 pounds on each of the main lifts. Man, I was really hoping to progress a little bit faster than that. Like, especially on the squat and deadlift, I thought it would be more than just 20 pounds. But I know strength training is slow and steady when it comes to how you progress. A lot of the training I was doing over the past six months has been technique work, slowly making slight adjustments to each of the lifts. So I have the form dialed in and everything is as efficient as it can be. Also, there's been quite a bit of trial and error when it comes to what style of training, how much weekly volume I should be doing, what sort of rep ranges. Like I still feel like I don't know what style of training my body responds best to because I've just been trying a bunch of different things and it's really hard to tell what is actually moving the needle because you don't really know until you actually test your strength you know weeks down the line 
Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll try to keep you guys in the loop in the future by making more videos. I'll let you know how my training's progressing, any new things I'm trying, any new equipment I'm buying. So if you guys want to see that, you want to see me get into the thousand pound club by the end of this year, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And any power lifters or anyone in the strength training experience, if you have any advice for me or you have a program that worked really well for you, feel free to share anything down in the comments that might be helpful. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.